What's going on guys? So today's video is going to be a continuation of the roof rack with the accessories that I talked to y'all about. So I am still absolutely loving it. Um, I don't know how y'all have reacted to it because I'm filming this before the original video came out. But I would assume there's probably a lot of love, a lot of hate, whatever. You know, typical stuff. But I am really enjoying it so far. I'll obviously do a long term review of how they hold up. Wind noise, that kind of stuff. Might throw some of that in this video as well. But I really do think it looks... Really, really cool. Um, the accessories, I'm only worried about the little shark fin antenna that we have. Hopefully we don't run into any issues. And that's probably, the well, that is the reason why I mounted them fairly far back. So let's go back here and check out what we got. So I went with the wind visor. I think these look really cool. This is the 46 inch. Hopefully I got the right length. We'll obviously see. And then I got two of the cross pads. Uh, the plan is this will go on the front, obviously, and then put these two on the rear one. So one, two, uh, hopefully the length is all good and whatnot, but I think this will be like, like the final finishing touches on it. And uh, like I said, hopefully not look gaudy or, or too, too much, um, but I've always liked trucks that had the wind visor on there with a the roof rack and the little pads. I just think it looks pretty sweet. And uh, fairly unique a lot of people don't run roof racks and whatnot so that is the game plan i have no clue how these things supposedly mount looks like they just very large zip tie onto here like this and uh, i guess that's that's it don't really know um obviously we've got to figure it out but um Hopefully this doesn't add any wind. Obviously this is supposed to help, you know, push the wind away, but we'll see. Looks pretty sweet. I'm pretty excited for this. I think it's gonna transform the whole truck once again. Freaking love it. So I guess uh, we'll start with the pads. Let's go ahead and try to put both the pads on the rear. I also never say this in videos, but make sure you subscribe, leave a like, comment, interact with the channel. One last look from the top with nothing on here. So. I think we're going to be good. We might actually scoot this guy up once we see how far the windshield can go. But um, one last look without the pads. Let's go ahead put those babies on. I think this is going to be a really cool extra touch. Hopefully I got the right size. These are the 20 inch. Oh yeah, dude, this is going to be freaking perfect. Like, seriously freaking perfect. So... So it's gonna be the same either way, right? Yeah. Okay. A lot of Velcro. We'll put them all the way to the edge for the initial look. Oh, sweet, let's throw that other one. I didn't measure it, I guessed. <laughs> um, hopefully the front's perfect too. So for everyone that always asks about the bed cover, how it's held up and everything, it's, it's been amazing. So far, it's been great. Um, I have used it multiple times, rolling it up, rolling it back out. I do put the, it comes with like a conditioner to put on it. I do that every now and then, every couple washes. It's still really good looking. It's not faded at all. As you can see, rolls up really nice. The hooks work great, blah, blah, blah. But um, yeah, as far as the bed liner or the bed cover goes, it has been great. But let's go ahead and adjust these. I actually really, really like that. I wish it was, you know, like over there so it was even, but I'm not gonna let that bug me too much. Obviously we can play around with this if we wanted to just put one on there, one on the back, one on the front. We'll see, push them together in the middle. I think that might honestly be the the best look we'll see obviously like I said we can play around with it and see oh yeah okay I dig it 
let's go ahead and put the wind visor on. So basically what this comes with, these little arms, they have little pre-cut places this goes, hooks right there. Then we will put one of these push pins right here, hold that in place. Go ahead and screw that in. Okay, then basically once you put all those on, um, this guy right here just has this lock, slips in like this, let me see, slips in like that. This is going to go around our rail, obviously, and then we'll use the supplied tool, tighten this down to secure it, and then if you look, I'm trying to show you all, on the bottom of the arm there's a little pad right there and then they come with this that you're supposed to put on the roof of the vehicle um, right where that's going to sit i'm sure this just helps with scratch you know make sure it doesn't scratch or start wearing your paint you know from rubbing it or whatever but due to vibrations and whatnot let's go ahead and take this film off before we put the other ones on because then they will be covering it up that looks great um, there's two, two for the inside, two for the outside. Holes are different, so let's line those up. Attempt to put this on there without doing anything crazy or falling or whatever. Come on, baby. Oh yeah, I think I got the perfect size, dude. I'm freaking hyped for that. So. Basically just hook these on the bottom. Run over there. All right, so I totally had that wrong. You gotta put them up like this, obviously. I wanna say I have these on backwards, but I swear it was pointing forward, but that, that sure seems like that would fit better on this back side than it would there. I don't really know. Hopefully I don't have these backwards and I've been roasted in another video, but it was saying in front of the vehicle pointed that direction. So the thing I'm thinking about doing is moving this up all the way to right here. That way there's not that gap and it probably will look better. So I think I'm going to move, I think I'm going to do that. Move this guy all the way as far forward as I can. Plan is to move it up as far as possible. I'm really second guessing myself if this is on backwards now, just because the way that that looks like it mounted. But yeah, I guess it don't matter. It is what it is. If it is backwards, I already got roasted, so it's all good. I have to measure it, obviously. Let's see exactly where we're at. Go back some. Now I'm just going to measure it. It's about as close as I want to get it to there. Measure it, make sure our two sides are the right length. Let's see how it kind of looks from the back. Still looks fine. Not too big a gap. So I'm going to go ahead and measure it, get that back secured, and then we will tighten down the wind visor. So now that we've got everything lined up, we're going to go ahead and put these little guys down because I'm sure there is a reason due to vibrations they say to put this on there. Alright, now that we've tightened it down, we're just going to clip this extra off because the last thing we want is it rubbing on the paint. Just like that. Clip that one. I'm gonna tighten those two down. Clip them off as well. Go 
dude, it looks freaking sweet. I, <laughs> I freaking love it. Just completely transforms the truck once again. Whole new attitude. I freaking love it. So I'm gonna clean up and then we'll check it out. All right, guys, well, I don't know how good it'll show on camera with the lighting, but dude, I freaking love it. So I liked it before, and I knew it was gonna be even better with these accessories, and I really do freaking love it. So it looks, ins dude, it looks literally insane from the front. It looks so angry. It makes the truck seem a lot taller, I guess, just because, you know, the roof or whatever, but honestly, just walking around and stuff, the truck does seem much taller, and oh my gosh, dude, I love it. I'm glad because it was, not a cheap thing and it really does change up the look so much uh we'll probably we'll play around with the pads maybe do one maybe push them apart don't really know a little bit more uniqueness now to baby squat and uh i'm hyped dude it looks it looks really sweet and if there's ever some reason why i can't use the bed and need to use the roof rack hey i've got one now so front back sides dude it looks sick from all angles i do wish the yakima was on the you know opposing side so it was even but you know it is what it is you can't flip flop them uh because they're meant i believe from the front and the back instead of two side by side but dude it looks gosh it looks freaking sick i think that's about it as far as like exterior add-ons you know obviously there's some things we could change colors to but i think as far as like like I said, exterior add-ons, I think that's about it, or before it would get gaudy. i really been debating doing a, I uh, can't remember, one of the brush guards, I can't remember, ranch hand? No, 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 I don't know. It was one that, it wasn't a bumper replacement, it was just one for the center and then came across the headlights. Thought that would look really sick, saw that on one guy's truck that I follow on Instagram. Still might do that, but I think that might be, it might be too much. We might, might be getting a little, little crowded with the whole look. But as of right now, dude, it looks sick. I have to remember this so I don't pull into any parking decks and, cause it's probably like what? It's probably a solid two inches taller than that shark fin antenna. Maybe, maybe more, that might be like four inches. So definitely gotta be careful. Um, <laughs> remembering that that is there and not, not hit it on something cause that would be horrible. All right, I gotta see how this thing looks moving. So four low window down in case uh, the door locks and I have to yeet myself back in here. Let's go! Oh, bro, it looks sick. I just trip and get ran over and die. Baby squad, you treat me right. Bro, it looks sick. I'm in love. All right, I'm gonna go back in this thing for some catastrophic happens and I'm literally obsessed. I do apologize, but I don't know, something just about being parked on the road. It just makes the truck look freaking insane. Pictures, video, whatever the case may be. Hopefully my door didn't lock. I usually always leave my window cracked because I'm super paranoid about locking myself out with it running in the road. Holy crap, that would be horrible, but. Oh boy, oh boy, I am in love. Good night, that looks angry. <laughs> that looks freaking insane. All right, I'm gonna end the video. Good Lord, I need to. I'll see you on the next one.